fitted in with what we were doing. Um, uh, Robert seemed like quite a normal man. Um, <laughs> so, we, so we jumped in groups and all. And I remember sending Robert an email saying, do you think it would be too gross if the nose had legs that were made of snot? <laughs> Robert sent back an email and said, no, no, I think that'll be fine. About a week after that, I heard the story about the carcass poem and the chicken suit or the sausage suit and I figured that that probably wasn't a question that I ever needed to ask Robert. Robert is a very strange man. Just thought I'd leave you with that. Last night I had a funny dream. My eyes jumped out of their sockets. My nose fell on the floor. My ears unscrewed themselves. Then my lips slid off my mouth and opened the door. Come on, lips set to eyes. Come on, I said to ears. Come on, ears set to nose. <clears throat> Don't forget to sniff, said nose. Eyes, ears, and nose follow lips into the kitchen. Lips close the door. Nose sniffed around for things to eat. Eyes got out a mixing bowl, flour, eggs, butter, sugar, and fresh raspberries. We'll make pies, said eyes. There's nothing better than eyes pies. We want to listen to music. Can you call ears? Lips asked. Are you talking to us? Said ears. Yes, we are. His lips. Can you make sure no one hears us? Ears listened at every door, then darted back into the lounge. Everyone's asleep, they said, swinging from the ceiling fan. Eyes popped about making raspberry pies. Nose helped ears by sniffing raspberries out of a punnet and checking to see if any were mouldy. All okay, nose snorted. Eyes, ears, and lips laughed at nose. You look like a bleeding nose, uh, ears said. Eyes popped the pies into the oven. Lips were fighting over the earphones. Here, let us listen, said Ears. That's our job. You two do the singing. Ears put the earphones on. Lips pouted and began to sing. Eyes and nose joined lips and ears. You can't hear anything if ears have the earphones. Eyes said, watching ears. That's right. We can't hear anything. Lips shouted at ears. Lips snatched the earphones back. It's our job, said Ears. We're meant to listen. Your job is to talk and sing. But we want to listen too, Lips insisted. Just because you're all ears doesn't mean we can't listen. Why can't you use the main speakers? Then we can listen also, said Nose and Eyes. Lips pulled out the earphones. The whole room filled with reggae. Ears danced from the floor to the ceiling. Lips slid over the furniture. And eyes and nose popped and rolled in and out of thoughts. Suddenly, nose stopped listening and bounced over to eyes, shouting, Your pies are ready! How do you know, I said, staring at nose. I can smell something burning. Oh, thank you, nose, thank you, I said with two quick blinks. Eyes popped back into the kitchen, pushing lips in front of them. Lips pulled the oven door open. Flames rushed out. The pies were a night. Lips flung themselves together and blew. Ears spun from side to side. Nose sniffed in and out. But eyes just watered. I hope they're okay, said eyes. 
everything smells fine to me, said no, sniffing up the last plane. Ears grabbed a knife. We'll scrape off the burnt bits. Lips nibbled one of the pies. Tastes good to us. They slipped back into the lounge and sprawled across the sofa. We're ready to eat, they said, spacking their top and bottom. Nose bounced behind and hopped onto a footstool, sneezing. Ears followed, shaking off loose crumbs and settled amongst the bars of cyclamens. Eyes joined them with the pies, some plates and a jug of scalding cream balanced on a tray. Come and get it. And so lips, ears, nose and eyes sat and ate pies, delicious pies. I think I'll open the door, said Nose. There's too much smoke. We'll open the door, said Lips. Our job. Ears turned the music on again. Up to the ceiling and down to the floor they danced. Eyes, nose and lips joined in. Once more, the room was full of dancing face. My face. But then, ears heard a noise. I saw a door open. And nose and lips felt a tingling sensation. Quick, someone's coming, he steps. Let's get out of here. Lips led the way slithering, eyes followed hot popping, nose somersaulted over everybody else, and ears flew out of control like mad moths. Lips shut the bedroom door. Next morning, I woke up with a terrible cold. I told Dad I wanted to stay in bed. Why? He asked. I've got a earache, a runny nose, watery eyes, and cracked lips. So I stayed in bed all day and daydream. Congratulations, IP Kids. Uh, David, thank you for coming down for the launch. Um, and animators at Monkey Stack, because I think this is the most amazingly illustrated children's picture book I've come across in many years. They're incredible.